Facebook is one of the social media channels that I would advise you to prioritise as an author. There are nearly, at the time of recording this, nearly 2 billion people worldwide on Facebook. And Facebook is amazing and pretty cheap for targeting people through advertising. So really, if that's where the world's population or the majority of the world's population is online, you kind of need to be there if you're an author. Uh, because in theory, if you could get one 0.9 billion or whatever it is at the moment users of Facebook looking at your book you'd be a very rich author so I think you've got to be there just by virtue of the numbers now let's be very clear about this a big most common mistake that people make on Facebook is they use their personal profile instead of a Facebook page if you're on Facebook you should be collecting likes for your business outlet you're collecting friends for your personal profile. That's the easiest way to tell. For As an author, you need to be collecting, in my opinion, you need to be collecting likes um, because your personal profile is just for your personal stuff with your friends. You shouldn't be doing any marketing kind of work on your personal profile. So you need to make sure you've got a Facebook business page. You should be collecting likes as an author. Now, the other thing about uh, an author page is that it's public by default, and that means that it can also get indexed very easily by the search engines. So whereas you might struggle with any blog or website that you have to get it found in the search engines, if you make sure that you've used all the keywords in your Facebook profile, things like your book titles, your author name, your publisher if you've got one, you'll find that actually Facebook leaps right ahead in the search engines and gets found a lot easier than your blog or website does. So those are just some very basic reasons why you need to be uh, on Facebook. Now this is my author Facebook page. This is the one that frankly isn't doing an awful lot for me at the moment, but then I, I need to put much more effort into that. And I've used it primarily really as a landing page, a landing area for when I do marketing on Facebook. Now marketing on Facebook has worked extremely well for me. Now I, I am not going to set myself up as the expert on Facebook ads. We'll talk about those a little bit more in a moment, but probably if you need a source to go to to learn about Facebook advertising, you need to go to the current master in the self-publishing environment, and that is Mark. Mark Dawson. Mark Dawson does a lot of free content on Facebook marketing and I actually invested in his Facebook marketing course. So I have found Facebook extremely effective for that. What do you need on your Facebook business page? Well, I think there are a couple of key components here that you really must make sure that you've got. We need to have a mugshot of you as an author so that we can see that you're a real person, that we can reach out and see you and, and get a feel for who you are. I think in the banner, as you can see there, you've got to say who you are and what you do, and you need to have some book covers up there as well. And then you'll also see that blue sign up button just there. That's what we call a call to action button on a Facebook business page. And that call to action button is really important. Um, I, I would say if you're that far advanced that you've got an email marketing list, generally you want to be collecting names and email addresses via that sign up button. If you're not that far advanced, then please at least link it to an Amazon Buy Now page or something like that. But be, please use that call to action button on your Facebook business page. Now, a Facebook business page works just the same as your personal profile does, except you're not going to be putting personal stuff on there. You're exclusively going to be putting details about what you've written, um, you know, what what you've published, when books are available in paperback or on different platforms, when you're doing free promotions. So it's going to be all about you as an author. You're not going to give away private stuff there, like showing pictures of the kids on holiday and things like that. You'll have to be aware that this is very much a public page. So anything you want to go on this page needs to be publicly consumable. You need to be happy for it to be out there and to have people uh, looking at it. But, but effectively, it's really just a base for people to get to know, like, and trust you, to get closer to you. Because in, in the bad old days, when authors just used to write books and you'd see this name on a book and you, you never got close to the author, the great thing about social media is people can feel close to you, connected to you. You can ask them questions. They can give you feedback. There's this lovely conversation going on on social media, which we couldn't have done before we had social media. And I think that's one of the strengths of Facebook, that lovely, lovely interaction that you get. So that's a Facebook author page and you set it up just as a normal business page. I'm not going to teach you Facebook here. I just want to give you the uh, the overview of some of the key parts. Now the thing that I think works really really well on Facebook is the advertising. And you can see some examples of adverts that I've produced on Facebook here. And I've grown my list by by hundreds. Um, you have to pay for Facebook adverts, and there are different levels of Facebook advertising. You could do something called post boosting, which tends not to work brilliantly as an author. You generally want to get into into the 
the upper echelons of Facebook marketing options, you need to be getting into something called Power Editor. And again, Mark Dawson is your source of information about this. Mark's the, the kind of go-to guy for Facebook marketing. But in very simple terms, I've used Facebook marketing to grow my list, uh, my list of subscribers. And you'll see that the adverts are connected to Paul Teague. Now, that is my Paul Teague author page. You don't connect your adverts to your personal profile, you know, the, where you post pictures of piano playing cats and the kids and things like that. It needs to be connected to a business page. And my business page is, is called Paul Teague Author. And this is primarily why I created this page. And it's the other reason why I haven't really pushed it to, to get likes and people on there. So I'm not really interacting very well on that page at the moment. I pretty well just set it up um, because I needed a page to connect to that was relevant and about writing for my adverts. Now, uh, just to talk you through these adverts, Facebook, when, when you when you learn about the advertising, Facebook does actually provide lots of free images for you. But I, I had these images made. I think I paid about $20 to have a series of five graphics made like this. And these have worked very well for me on Facebook. I use these as my, as my promo images. Um, I was very happy with them. I thought very good quality. And I basically put some teaser text on there. And when people seeing those adverts on Facebook click that download button, it then automatically took their name and email address and automatically sent them uh, an email from me, which gave them access to a free download of my books. Now, again, all of that requires some degree of technical knowledge. Mark Dawson talked you through all of those processes in his training. So you do need to invest some time and, and it's a little bit of money in learning how to do this, but it's a very good strategy. It's a very good skill to learn. And this is, I think, where Facebook really comes into its own because I've tried advertising on different channels. Twitter was one of them, and Facebook has worked for me like uh, nothing else. There's only one thing that's come close to it, which is Insta Freebie. I'll talk to you about that in another video. But generally, you have to pay something if you want to start getting your book out to lots of people. The great thing about Facebook is, is when I was targeting these books, I was targeting them to audiences of the Maze Runner, uh, of the Hunger Games, of the Divergent series, exactly the kind of person who is my reader. So I was, rather than going scattergun and throwing lots of mud against the wall and hoping some of it would stick, the advantage of using Facebook is you can access these wonderful, wonderful, very focused audiences. And I noticed, the other thing I noticed when I advertised on Facebook was, because I was targeting these books so carefully to the right audience, the quality of my reviews was much higher when I was marketing these books on Facebook. Now, the way that I market my books, I give the first of the trilogy away for free, and then people have to buy books two and three. So when I was doing this Facebook marketing, obviously I was giving away a lot of free books. I was getting a lot of names and email addresses in my database, but also people who liked the books were leaving good reviews. I got a lot more good quality reviews from Facebook, and they were going on to buy books two and three, which is obviously fabulous because then I start to make my money back on selling books two and three. So I think as a part of your author platform, number one, you must at least please have a Facebook author page. Even if you don't pay for any marketing, that's just get an author page, get a picture of you, your books, tell us what you do, share some updates on there, and, and just use it as a way of socializing with people who are interested in your books. But if you're gonna really take Facebook to the next level and really use it the way that successful marketers are using it, you need to invest some time and a little bit of money in learning how to use Facebook advertising correctly, because it really is a powerful tool.